This is Blue Skin Bay. An estuary located just north of the city of Dunedin in New Zealand. Blue Skin Bay is famous for its clams or cockles, which attract many visitors during weekends. Surrounded by gentle slopes, this tranquil bay is one of many New Zealand's postcards. But don't be fooled by the apparent serenity of Blueskin Bay. Estuaries are the place where two worlds meet. Land and sea. Fresh water running down from the hills mixes with seawater brought in by the tidal movements. This inflow brings high level of nutrients, making estuaries among the most productive natural habitats in the world. fish, birds, crabs, and millions, millions of snails all share this 8 square kilometer estuary. But there is an animal that lives in numbers hundreds of times more abundant than any other in Blueskin Bay. You just don't see them. They are polychaetes. They live underneath the sand flats in numbers up to 6,000 per square meter. Polychaetes are also referred to as bristle worms, as they have projections on each side of their body that look like bristles. However, polychaetes vary widely from this pattern and can display a range of different sizes and shapes. They range in size from a few centimeters to a couple of meters. Some look like Christmas trees, while others are truly scary. Polychaetes are distant relatives of the common earthworm. The sand flats in Blueskin Bay are composed of two distinct layers. The top clear layer, rich in oxygen, and the bottom dark layer, where fermenting bacteria thrive. Like their land cousins, polychaetes make burrows that allow oxygen to penetrate deep into the sediment, forcing bacteria, which cannot tolerate oxygen, to occupy lower depths of the sediment. Polychaetes also make tubes, which can be composed of sand and shell bits held together with mucus. The tubes help stabilize the surface of the flats, acting like waves and corrugated cardboard to yield strength. They are also home to small animals seeking refuge. Because of their high numbers, Polychaetes provide essential recycling services to this estuary. Some feed on plankton and small animals, including other polychaetes. Others are filter feeders, trapping and breaking down big organic particles. And together, they help cleaning blue skin bay waters, providing a healthy ecosystem. Polychaetes are known to accumulate a variety of chemicals in their tissues. Cancer-related chemicals, such as heavy metals, organochlorines, 
and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons can leach from man-made sources and end up in the estuary. For this reason, polychaetes are commonly used as biomonitors to assess the environmental health of estuaries. But what's worrying is that accumulation of chemicals by polychaetes can cause long-term negative consequences. That's because polychaetes are an important food source for many animals in Blue Skin Bay. For example, chemicals accumulated in polychaetes can enter the food web from a fish feeding on them and then be passed on to other living organisms, including us. And although New Zealand estuaries are relatively clean, population increases and intensive land use pose a serious threat to this wonderful ecosystem. Polychaetes are your unique link between land and sea. Their existence supports all forms of life in Blue Skin Bay. Understanding polychaetes empowers us to look after this wonderful estuary. It reminds us that our actions today have consequences tomorrow.